Hey everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Mateo and I am from Machine Masters. Today, I'm going to show you how to get thicker and wider sounding vocals. So here I have a lead vocal and I'm going to show you the vocal with and without the processing that I used to get the vocals to sound wider. Now before I show you this, I will warn you that this technique is meant to be very subtle. So for most of you to hear this a little better, it might be best to listen to this tutorial with headphones, as the effect would be more exaggerated with headphones than with speakers. So here I have my vocal highlighted, and I'm going to play it without the effect, and then I'm going to bring the effect halfway in. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. I got a vision, I'm killing the competition, I'm one in a million, I make the game different. Re awesome. So I brought in the effect halfway in, and I did have it a little louder than I normally would, just so it was slightly more exaggerated and more noticeable. But I'm actually going to solo just the effect so you can hear what's going on without the lead vocal in there. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. I got a vision, I'm killing the competition, I'm one in a million, I make the game different. Awesome. So what we heard in that effect was essentially two versions of the vocal that were off to the side, slightly pitched and delayed. Now, this was a common technique and still is a common technique used to help thicken vocals and make them sound a little wider in a mix. Back in the day, people used to use analog gear like the Harmonizer 3000, which you know many of you gearheads will know very well and love, and still to this day is used quite a lot. And the other unit that was used to popularize this technique as well was the AMS DMX delay unit. In this particular example, I used the Sound Toys plugin MicroShift. It's a great plugin. It's very no fuss, kind of no frills type plugin. It gives you the effect that you want very easily. And that's what I used here. And actually this unit is based off of the settings that were used on the H3000 unit to get this thickening effect. Now, for those of you that don't have a Harmonizer 3000 or an AMS DMX unit just lying around and you don't have this Sound Toys plugin, I'm gonna show you how to achieve a similar sound using free plugins. So first, you're going to need to create a stereo auxiliary track. Name the auxiliary track whatever you'd like. I'm going to call it thickening track. Then what you're going to want to do is assign the input of the auxiliary track to an available bus. So I chose 37 and 38. And you're going to get the track that you want to send to the bus, assign it the same bus. So 37 and 38, we'll bring it up. Next, you're gonna wanna pick a delay or pitch plugin that offers delay and pitch as options. Make sure that it's a stereo plugin and that you can independently affect both the left and the right channels. So in Pro Tools, there's a free pitch plugin called Pitch 2 that offers delay capability. So here in this plugin, we can affect both the left and right channels independently as long as we unlink these. And it also gives us delay capabilities, which is great. Now, first we're gonna start with the delay. Now, the delay time is important. You're gonna want to delay in and around the range of you know, uh, one or two milliseconds up to 20 milliseconds. The reason why you don't wanna have the delay too long is because you don't want this effect to be too noticeable. So you want the delay times to be as close as possible to the original. Now, if you get too far past 20 milliseconds, you're gonna end up just getting a delay effect. So in this particular example, I chose to delay my signals between eight and 12 milliseconds. So I actually set my left delay channel to eight milliseconds and my right delay channel to 12 milliseconds. Now, it's good to keep them slightly off time from each other, but not too far. You probably don't want to exceed more than like a few milliseconds to five milliseconds, which is 
I've got four millisecond difference over here, and that keeps the signal still fairly tight. So this delayed signal is now going to be pitched. And the reason why we keep it pitched is because this helps to differentiate the two delayed signals from each other. You don't want them to be exactly the same pitch because then there's not going to be enough separation between the two. So this pitch helps to create that widening effect and thickens the vocals. Now, the pitching is going to need to be subtle, so we're going to be using cents. And you're going to want to pitch no more than up to, I'd say, 10 cents on either channel. On top of this, you're going to also want to make sure that whatever you pitch one of the channels, so in this example, I'm going to pitch up to 8 cents. So I'm going to take the right channel and pitch it up 8 cents. Remember that you need to pitch the other channel in the opposite direction by an equal amount. So the left channel is going to be minus 8 cents. Remember that. They both have to be the same number of cents apart from each other. So if you choose 4 cents, then the right channel is plus 4 and the left channel is minus 4. All right? Now, let's play the vocal with this delayed and pitch signal. So we're going to solo it and play it back. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. Obviously, that's a little exaggerated, so I'm going to bring it down. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. I got a vision, I'm killing the competition. I'm one in a million, I make the game different. Realize with dreams. Look at my team. Cool. Sounds pretty good. Now, something I like to do in addition to having this plugin is adding saturation. Because if you listen to the units like the Harmonizer 3000 and the RMS DMX, they're kind of gritty sounding. So I like adding a touch of saturation by using the free plugin saturation knob. And all I'll do is raise this up probably just a little bit lower than before it starts to really distort. So I'm going to solo it and listen to the effect. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. I got a vision, I'm killing the competition. I'm one in a million, I make the game different. Realize with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. Cool, so that added a little bit of that grit that I wanted in there. Now I'm going to bring back the vocal and I'm going to play it together again. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Still a little loud, so I'm going to bring it down. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. I got a vision, I'm killing the competition. I'm one in a million, I make the game different. Realize with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. I got a vision, I'm killing the competition, I'm one in a million, I make the game different. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. I got a vision, I'm killing the competition. Awesome. So that is how you can get that widening effect using free plugins and pretty much straightforward there. Now let's compare the MicroShift plugin versus what I've done. And let's make sure that the two tracks are balanced properly. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. I got a vision, I'm killing the competition. I'm one in a million, I make the game different. Realize with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. I got a vision, I'm killing the competition. I'm one in a million, I make the game different. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. Very cool. So. Very similar effects and fairly easy to set up too. Once again, here is our DIY vocal thickening process with the song. Impossible schemes are realized with dreams. Look at my team, see how we stack this cream. I got a vision, I'm killing the competition. I'm one in a million, I make the game different. Now, one thing I'd like to just say to all of you before trying this out, keep in mind that this technique does introduce some phasing issues. So remember to use this in moderation. And if you notice that there's too much phasing going on, just play with the delay times. Varying them a little will help with the phasing issue. But regardless, there always will be some amount of phasing happening.
Thanks again to all of you that checked out this tutorial. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about what we covered in this tutorial, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, also leave that in the comment section below. As always, please like and share this video and subscribe to Machine Masters to keep up with all our latest tutorials. Thank you everyone, have a great day.